So the title of today's video is not actually something I plan on answering in this video. It is more my question to you guys. So if you have an answer for it, please pop it in the comments below. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So it's actually going to be a rehouse video that we are doing today. But the spider featured in today's video, or tarantula should I say, featured in today's video, is one that I so rarely see on YouTube and I'm unsure as to the reasons why. But I thought instead of just telling you what spider we're going to deal with today, I'll drop you hints throughout the video and you can see if you can guess. You can either comment below with your guesses or you can just comment at the end and say whether you are right or wrong with your guess. I'm just curious to see if this is a spider that you will recognise and you will think of. So first things first, this spider is going into my brand new spider shop arboreal enclosure. So there is your first clue ladies and gentlemen. This is an arboreal tarantula. Now this enclosure is uh, 30 centimeters tall. I think it's 20 wide. I can't quite remember. Anyway it's a suitable size enclosure for today's tarantula. Now while we get this bad boy set up I'll drop you some hints and stuff. See if you can figure out what tea it is we're dealing with today. Okay so first of all I'll tell you why it is that I found this to be rare on YouTube. So basically, before rehousings, on the odd occasion, I look for a bit of inspiration, especially when I've been a little bit demotivated lately. And so while looking for some inspiration for an enclosure design, I searched up this species on YouTube and found very little results. I just realized I'm literally just talking and you're seeing this. Sorry, that's what you have to put up with for just a moment. Let's put you back. So I found a handful of videos of people that do own this species, but they were only showing slings, which obviously is no help for enclosure inspiration. And although I do love watching sling videos because I think they're dead cute, it just doesn't show you like the full potential of the spider. It doesn't show you their, their adult or juvenile colorations. It's just a sling, right? Or, or some of them had a, a grown on sling, I think. But again, this was just a handful of people. And then I came across Tom Moran's video. Now Tom is the only one that I saw in my moment of searching that actually had a large enough specimen for me to properly look at. Um, so that was pretty cool. But aside from Tom, I found next to nothing. Now that's not to say that there is nobody else on YouTube with a specimen the same size as mine or Tom's, it's just saying that I never came across the videos of them. Maybe they were in feeding videos or maybe just everybody has slings, I, I honestly don't know. So the next thing to tell you about this spider is it is a genus that I really, really like, so that might well help you out. Um, and I cannot remember where I got it or how old it was when I got it, but I've got a funny feeling that the animal I got, I did purchase either as a sling or perhaps a small juvenile, but I certainly did not get it at the size that it currently is. Now I've got a be careful with this bit of wood here because I'm I came up with the idea but I didn't realize that it wouldn't quite fit I need to check that that door will close yeah we got plenty of space so what else can I tell you ladies and gentlemen well as far as I'm aware or what I have seen slings of this species still hold value looking at about 20 pounds for a one to two centimeter so not the most expensive but definitely not the cheapest of slings for you to buy and um, perhaps that's one reason that uh, not a huge amount of people have them or the reason that when they do have them 
they are sling size now upon shopping um, I've got to say I don't see them about that often and when I do it is really just one to two centimeter slings so again that might well be another reason why but I'm also thinking to myself well I grew mine on surely a lot of these other people within this community have also grown theirs on so where's their specimens perhaps it's a difficult tea to raise but I know people that have raised plenty of others of the same genus so I don't think that's what the issue is I'm gonna pop my water dish in now this is a very basic setup as you know with me I like to add uh, mossy bottoms to my enclosures as much as I can I think it looks more naturalistic so what else can I tell you about this spider you know that it's arboreal you know it's a genus that I enjoy you know the average price range of slings and you know that not many of them seem to be on YouTube so what else can I tell you before you see this spider well it's not just that I like this genus but I have been collecting adult females of this genus. So I have one, two, three adult females of this genus already, and I have had a mature male of this genus already. In fact, I've had two mature males of this genus already. Now, before we go any further, I wanna show you the setup I've done here. Now, there is quite a lot of space at the back of this cork bark, but, you know, tarantulas do like to kind of mess around with the substrate. I'm sure they could pull some substrate or moss out of the back there, um, make a little dirt curtain perhaps, or just web it up at the back. But having this as like the feeding hatch as it were is pretty damn cool. I might add one more bit of moss to cover the back of this a little bit actually, because I don't want this tarantula feeling exposed. So I'm just gonna do that off the camera, and then we're gonna have a look at the tarantula that we are moving today and see again whether you can guess what it is. So this enclosure here, ladies and gentlemen, is its current home. I have taken off the label so that you can't work out what it is. Anyone that may say it's a Victoria, you are wrong. I did keep a male Victoria in a container like this and he matured and I passed him on for breeding. So the tarantula feature today is just here. I'll see if I can get a slightly closer shot, but you'll see it properly when I get it out of there. So there it is. Anybody got a guess yet? The legs are a little bit of a giveaway. The kind of shaping of the legs for what genus it is. But will you know what species it is? Okay, let's see if we can get it out. I'm not quite sure what other hints I can really give you guys. I've kind of been going with the flow on this. Um, but this is a tarantula I've absolutely adored keeping. Really, really adored keeping. It's quick. It's a new world, for those of you that were curious. Just trying to get it to come out of its web chamber a moment. Can't see very well, where are you? Oh, there you are. And it's in the cup. Oops. So we're gonna take a look at this tarantula through this cup. It is a milky cup, but hopefully it doesn't run straight and high so we can have a better look at it uh, in the enclosure there. So here it is, so you can see it's a pretty decent sized specimen, as far as I'm aware not fully grown yet but I've never seen an adult one of these with my own eyes, but I would say that it's well on its way but not quite there yet. Those of you that are a bit more of an expert in a spider hobby you can feel free to let me know in the comments below, but if it grows to the same size as its counterparts in my collection then it's definitely not quite there yet. Can anybody take a guess by looking at those legs? I know it's not very clear. Now if you guessed the Salmopius genus, or at least that's how I pronounce it, you would be right. So what else have we got? We have an adult female Armenia in here, so it's not an Armenia. 
we have an adult female Cambridge eye in here. It is not a Cambridge eye. The mature male Victoria went off for breeding, so it's not a Victoria. And in here, which featured in my most recent feeding video, is an adult female Salmopius polka. So it is not a polka. Keep on guessing guys, keep on guessing. Now I'm gonna get this tea into this enclosure and I'm excited to see what you think. Now, although this is a new world, it is not a spider I particularly want to mess with. Um, and it is flighty. So we've got to hope this doesn't get out now. The problem I always find with uh, rehousing our boreal teas is you can't just slip a lid on easily because, well, as you can see, it will weight down and fall. So I have to kind of keep this lid open, but at the same time, be able to close it quickly so the spider's actually sat on the bottom of the cup now kind of where I don't want it to be but uh, yes come to the back there right how am I going to go about this then Okay, so I've just left the cup with the lid half down. Probably my best way of doing this. This one is actually unsexed, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And if I put this on this side here, there's a lot less room if the spider were to bolt to the side and run out. But I've also got no real room to get it with the straw. So I'm gonna patiently wait a minute and I'll press record again when the spider's in the right position to do so. Come on. Okay, spider is out. Beautiful. Oh, oh, the spider's out. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is through the top of the glass. Can anybody recognize this spider yet? So I think I've made you wait long enough. Let me just reposition the light and I'll tell you what it is. Look at those iridescent feet what a beauty so we know it's some opius genus let's wait for it to turn and i'll tell you what it is can we not get a view of the top of you from the front here madam or mister hopefully madam you're just gonna sit there now aren't you it's not me making you wait folks it is the spider right come on then let's change position ah there perfection no focus this is not going the way i'd hope there we go for those of you that have been a part of the game and wanted to know this is the salmopius ecclesiasticus and what a beauty it is so let me know in the comments below do you own an ecclesiasticus is yours just a sling do you have a youtube video of a big one that i just missed I want to know because I can't see why anybody would not want to own this tea. It's got those feathery legs typical of Somopius. It's got almost a faint tiger pattern on the abdomen and it goes down to these rich golden colours on the carapace and on the femurs there which I never noticed until I put the light on it. She or he is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous right excuse the shakiness but we needed a poor photo look at that little foot focus with the little claws on there oh my god do you know what she actually reminds me of guys she almost reminds me of an arboreal version of a famictopus i uh, i have a few famictopus now and some of them take on this golden carapace or even slightly pinkish carapace in some cases so what do you think guys? Do you think this spider suits this home well? I absolutely love it. I'm happy with the simplistic but effective design. I'm happy that I got to see this spider out and about because honestly, a lot of my Samopias only really come out in the evenings and the rest of the time they're hidden in their cork bark hides. I did actually catch my Amenia out this morning, which was nice and surprising. 
and I've been putting this one off for ages absolutely ages because I just oh I don't know it was like almost like I just needed to wait for that right day that right moment to see this spider out of its old enclosure oh she was just on the moss then and as soon as I pressed record she started climbing again that is a shame I don't think I'm going to be able to get you any other footage of her walking around on there today but I gave it my best shot now I'm not going to stress her out anymore I think I'm just going to put her on the shelf so this might be the last time you see this girl for a while now unless she features in feeding videos but with that hatch at the front of the cork bark perhaps you'll get a really nice snatch and grab you know but looking at her she's quite leggy I'm hoping this isn't a boy because if this is a boy then it would definitely be a sort of sub adult stage um, meaning it would hook out next molt and I don't have a girl and with the lack of people owning this species I don't know where I'd find one so fingers crossed with me everybody that this is a female I'm gonna pop her on the shelf now and let's wrap this video up so there she is right there in fact let's put her away before I finish this off come on girly up on your new spot Oh. there she is she actually looks quite dinky now in comparison to when I had her in in this one here oh well thank you guys for tuning in thanks for coming along again to the new channel any shares of my channel would be fantastic any mentions on social media on YouTube anywhere you can to help us regrow will be amazing now I think I will finish this video off by showing you my Formictopus auratus, which is just freshly molted yesterday, so you can see what I mean about the golden carapace. But until next time, thanks for watching, take care, bye bye. So here's the bonus part of the video. This is my fresh Formictopus auratus. You can see the golden carapace there. She's got more of a, a darker, body with rich hairs but you see what I mean about that gold now if we were to move over to this one this is my Formictus species green gold carapace um, I can't quite get a good view for you guys but it's almost pink on the carapace it's quite funny how this one is the green gold carapace and it's pinkish and the auratus is the one with the golden carapace um, and then in this one here Oh, it's tipped its water dish again is my cancerides, but it's it's hiding away in there But yeah, there's my Formictopus. Let me see if I can pull this one Out there you go. Now you can see some of the pinkish tones Do you see how it's similar patterns even though these are a completely different genus? Um, oh, sorry, 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 it's moving the enclosure completely different genus completely different body shape everything is different but the coloration of the carapace was so similar and there she is so anyway bonus part over guys hopefully we feature this girl in a feeding video and i will see you next time thanks for watching take care bye bye